In the last three years, three companies have achieved a billion dollars in market capitalization faster than any companies in commercial business history. One of those companies reached $1 billion in revenue in 12 months, and between the three companies, they've created almost $15 billion in wealth in less than three years. Hi, my name's Tom McMurrin. I'm the host of the Grant Cardone TV show, The Coin Profit, and the author of the Amazon bestseller, The Seventh Disruption, The Rise of the Digital Currency Billionaire. You know, real people like you have purchased as little as $1,000 on the launch of some of these digital currency companies, and they've seen six and seven figure gains. In one case, a person put $5,000 into the recent launch of a company that was selected by Microsoft as a partner, and his little investment grew to $5 million in nine months. Now, I know these results are not typical, but they are for people who have the knowledge to spot these types of opportunities. There are going to be many future opportunities like these as Microsoft, Apple, Citibank, PayPal, and Amazon potentially launch their own digital currencies. But one caveat, the only investors who will be able to seize these opportunities will need a specialized knowledge of how to mine digital currency and how to trade or liquidate it to realize their gains. You know, education creates awareness and awareness increases your chance of realizing success in anything. Now, I want to give you five reasons why you should take a serious look at cryptocurrency as a hedge against depreciating government-issued currency. Reason number one, cryptocurrency is transparent. All transactions are conducted on a public ledger, so no financial manipulation or fraud or off-balance sheet transactions can occur. Basically, what I'm telling you is no cook in the books. Reason number two, cryptocurrency is finite. When a cryptocurrency is launched, they publicly declare a number of shares or what they call coins. They are actually serial numbers or QCIP numbers if you're familiar with stocks and bonds. One big distinction is cryptocurrency cannot be diluted. For example, when Bitcoin went public, 21 million coins were declared. There will never be more than that. The algorithm, once published, cannot be altered and the community will make sure this does not happen. As the community grows around a finite asset, guess what happens to the value? Well, you got it. It goes up in value. This is simple supply and demand 101 economics. Have you ever heard the saying, do you know why you should buy waterfront real estate? It's because God only made so much of it. Reason number three, cryptocurrencies are valued by the market. They're traded and valued much like stocks and bonds. The community determines the value of the currency, not some misleading economic number or report. According to a recent article in Forbes, cryptocurrency has become a safe haven for smart investors worldwide in the most recent economic downturns. Reason number four, cryptocurrencies are portable and private. You are your own bank. Nobody monitors your money but you. Your coins can be held online in digital format or you can store them offline on a piece of paper or a USB drive. You can put millions or billions of dollars on a piece of paper or a little USB drive and take your wealth anywhere in the world. To cash it in, all you need is an internet connection and a buyer. Reason number five, cryptocurrencies are liquid. Digital currency can be turned into just about any type of asset you can imagine. Collectibles, commodities, cash, and you can use it to buy modern goods off of Amazon or even buy a Tesla. Many of the anti-money laundering law and KYC compliant exchanges are now offering Visa MasterCard so you can spend your internet-based currency. You know, regulation stifles returns. While cryptocurrency is risky because of its lack of regulation, it provides the fastest and highest returns of any industry in the history of modern business and we're just at the beginning of the wave. Bitcoin, the first mover, has paved the way for the seventh disruption of the financial industry. Second movers, what I like to call the AOL or Facebooks of digital currency like OneCoin, Ethereum, and Ripple Labs are now entering the market and creating incredible wealth very quickly. So here's the million dollar question. Do you want to profit from the wave of digital currency or do you simply just want to pay with it? It's not a matter if you're going to use digital currency, it's just a matter of when. So consider these final thoughts. Today you have a choice of owning a medium of exchange that historically has lost value or you can participate in the internet of money which has the potential to appreciate in value and create wealth for you and your family. Now that should be a no-brainer right there. The smart money is already in digital currency with Mark Andreessen, one of the most prolific investors in technology, leading the way as the largest investor in the space. Recently, his firm, Andreessen Horowitz, raised $1.5 billion to invest in blockchain-based companies. Truth is, today, people can become their own bank. They no longer have to pay expensive processing and transaction fees, nor do they have to be hassled by the supervision and policing of bankers who act like your money is theirs. Seriously, people hate banks. 
since 2008, they have accepted trillions of dollars in taxpayer support and they've done very little to rebuild our economy. In fact, they continue to evict people from their homes and squeeze small businesses out of business with increased transaction fees and hold times on money. Bankless banking is here. We can conduct transaction without using a bank. Hundreds of millions of dollars of transactions are being done each day on the blockchain, akin to the days of showing people how to get on the internet and send a communication without using a post office. Today, we are showing people how to be their own banks and send money without using a bank. Now, that is what I call truly disruptive. In fact, experts are calling it more disruptive than the semiconductor and the internet. Technology disintermediates big players and the banking industry will be no different. Napster and iTunes disrupted the music industry. Wikipedia made the encyclopedia industry vanish overnight. And the mobile phone industry, well, they put Kodak straight into bankruptcy. Blockchain software that eliminates intermediaries that charge transaction fees are all subject to the disruption, according to Don Tapscott, the New York best-selling author of The Blockchain Revolution. You are at the right moment, the right time, and New Currency University will provide you with the information you need to profit from this extraordinary financial opportunity. If you missed the investment opportunities in the 90s of Amazon, Facebook, Uber, or Apple, the opportunity for 25x and 100x returns is now reality with cryptocurrency. Please get back to the person who shared this audio with you and become a participant in the seventh disruption of digital currency. Bitcoin, OneCoin, Ethereum are becoming the smart currencies of investors and businesses worldwide. My name is Tom McMurray and I'm the author of the Amazon best-selling ebook, The Seventh Disruption, The Rise of the Digital Currency Billionaire. I'm also the host of Grant Cardone's TV show, The Coin Profit. Each week we'll be exploring the new currency lifestyles and we'll be talking to leading industry experts, investors, and businesses just like yours about strategies of new currency. We're going to show you how you can reduce those pesky bank fees. We're going to show you how you can cut down on payroll expenses and those chargebacks, you can forget those with the new currency. They're gone. You tune in every week to The Coin Profit exclusively on Grant Cardone TV.